Hey, my friends, so the, ch the economy is changing and for many people, they're starting to worry. They're starting to be concerned. And if you're concerned about what the future looks like as a business owner, I get it. I understand. But here's the thing you don't need to be. Um, and I want to give you some foundation, some things for you to think about as we move into next year. As you move into next year, you, there's got you, you, you. Most of the time, when we get to this time of the year, there's a there's a few things that are going on inside of you. You're relieved. You're about to have a break, or for some of you, you're entering into the crazy period of sales, especially if you're in e-commerce, like a lot of our clients, which means we end up going into a crazy time as well. So, but I want you to understand that as we move into a changing economy, it doesn't mean that it's doom and gloom. It doesn't mean that you as a business owner should be sitting back in the corner in the fetal position with your thumb in the mouth thinking that it's all over. It's not. In fact, for you, my friend, it could be the beginning of something grand. And I mean something that would, be, that would blow your mind. Think about all of the incredible businesses that have come on the back of uh, economies that weren't great in the past. Economies where we had recessions, depressions, you name it, we've seen it. And we've seen, in, we've seen, it, we've seen businesses that became world players because of a changing, a changing economy. Why? Because the business owner, the entrepreneur saw a need. In a changing economy, there's one thing that happens and it's bigger than anything else and that is the need changes and it becomes so pronounced. The need for businesses to grow, the need for a consumer to have something different. Your job as the entrepreneur is to find out and understand what that need is. If you take a moment now to breathe, take a moment to relax, take a moment to get a chamomile, I'm probably not chamomile tea, but a herbal tea, or whatever you drink to sit down and take a moment away from the busyness of your business, you're going to allow yourself to see that in front of you is one of the greatest opportunities of your lifetime. People are going to be able to, sh the people are going to be sharing their greatest needs, their greatest wants, their greatest troubles, their greatest problems. Your job as an entrepreneur is to help them find a solution to all of those things. And if you can find that, if you can help them find that solution, if you can help them find the, 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 the solution to that problem, you are going to win. But if you don't start to look right now to say, hey, what is my customer going to be looking for in a changing economy? What are they, what's going to be going through their mind? And then as you find out, as you, as you start to think about, well, what's going to be their big want? I want you to ask you a simple question. Why do they want that want? Think about it just for a moment. Let's say you sell clothing, okay? And we're moving into a different, econ a different economy. Why do people want your pair of jeans? Why do people, or if you sell coffee, why do people want your coffee? They don't just want coffee. There's a reason they want it. So your messaging now, as you move into a different economy, as you move into a different time, has to become clearer. Your messaging has to be on point. Your messaging will be everything. The way you, as a business owner, position yourself in the, economy, in the coming economy will be all about messaging. So number one, your message needs to be clear. Number two, okay, think about what your funnel looks like. Yes, many people, what they say, what they do immediately is they cut marketing. My suggestion to you is that once you understand what it is your customer wants, I want you to go hard. I want you to go into that and I want you to go into it aggressively. Why? Because when you do their need, their want, once you find out what that is, that's going to be more pronounced than it's ever been before. Your job as an entrepreneur is to see that need and go after it. So your marketing funnel should look like this. Very, very simple. It doesn't have to be any deeper or any harder than this. A simple landing page where you can give some kind of unbeatable offer. Some kind of thing where they go, wow, I need that. It might be an ebook. It might be a discount. It might be a webinar that you're going to do. It could be a video course that you've, you've created. Something that is going to make them go, wow, I need what you have. So you, number one is, is you some kind of giveaway. Number two, so that's that landing page. Number two, once you have your landing page and your giveaway, I'm going to put those two together, 
you must have a e-course, some kind of email system that you have set up, email program uh, and course that you uh, uh, sequence that you have set up, set up that specifically talks to the problem that your customer has. Too many times I see business owners who haven't done this. They haven't set up that they haven't taken the time to really build their email list. Your email list is going to be everything. Your email list, you own it. It is worth money to you. And when you sit back and you aren't emailing your clients, I want you to think about this. Every day that you are not emailing your clients is costing you money. The bigger your email list, the more money it is costing you. In some cases for you, it's cost, I, can, I, I know there's probably people watching this video right now, it's costing you thousands and tens of thousands of dollars a day because you're not emailing your list. When you email your list, people get in contact with you and they want to know more. Email, in my opinion, once you have a list, is the most important thing you can do. But as one of our, as our creative director in the US says, Ty is one of the most amazing email copywriters you'll ever meet, says, you can never send too many good emails. Let me say that again. You can never send too many good emails, but you can send too many bad ones. I want you to remember that. So number one, landing page with an incredible offer. Number two, marketing to your email list. Number three, up, a way to upgrade those customers, those leads that you have and bringing them into purchasing. Think about it this way. If you give a, um, a, a simple offer and you've got one offer, I want you to think that there is something that you have that will 10 times the revenue that you can make from that one offer. There is always someone that's prepared to purchase your platinum offer. I love what Alex Hormoni says. I think he calls it the, the Goldilocks offer. You know, if you haven't read Alex's book, $100 million off dollar offers, you really should. It's a brilliant book. And that you, as you as a business owner start to move into this place, you will start to see changes happen. So number one, landing page with an incredible offer and giveaway. Number two, email program. Number three, that you're going to email your list at least once every three days to five days. And I know you, if you are confused about that, talk to me, I'll help you. And number three, what is going to be your Goldilocks offer? What is going to be that offer that is so amazing that they're going, you're going to have two types of people. There's going to be one type of person that just wants what your normal offer is, but then you're going to have that next person that says, hey, heck, I want that big offer. Give me that because that's where I'm heading. That's who I am. They see themselves differently. My friends, my name's James Hannon from Results & Co. You see, what we're here to do is I want you win. Our purpose here at Results & Co is to raise you up in business to help you win and never be left behind because we believe that when you are winning when you are succeeding succeeding as a business owner the world is a better place so we help you to create marketing funnels that work have an amazing amazing day god bless speak to you soon